<laughs> Correct terminology. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. This is Trevor, and I'm here with Josh, and we're going to play more Banjo Kazooie because we're getting there. We're making lots of making good headway. Oh, shit. Did you do the. I think you did this. but... Yeah, I got the thing. You, you got up here? Oh, God, shit. No, I didn't go up there, but. No, I... no, I know, but you did. I, I'm pretty sure you hit the switch. Yeah, I did. I think I saw you do it. I did! I know. I'm just saying. It's like, this is like the equivalent of the Secret Stars in uh, Mario 64. A lot of this is... They, they looked at Mario 64 and were like, oh, we could do it better. We could do it better. <laughs> <laughs> if you're partial to Mario 64, then I feel sorry for you. Because you uh, are... Right. It's not a bad game. It's not it's a bad just, game. Though. I just like this one better. Uh, Guard to Plankers! I don't need to go this way because... Actually, there might be something I need to get in here. Hold on. If memory serves, and that's how we're playing this off of memory, um, there is no guide. There is. <laughs> I believe there is a life back there, and I think there's. We don't need to be back here for a while. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Jelly Belly. At which school? You gotta remember that, okay? Okay. You also gotta remember this. I also know that <coughs> putrid parrot puke is her favorite smell. And the old hag's favorite color is dung brown. <laughs> you couldn't classy. say shit brown. She's a classy girl. Uh, She's a classy uh, sister. Until the because the sisters. That's, this is Click Clock Woods. Notice how you can't... S you can't... You need a lot of pieces. To yeah. fit the puzzle. Gonna need like... You need like ten. Ten, eleven pieces. Okay, got that Momo token that was sitting in there. We talked to Brentilda. Brentilda's good witch sister. And now we're gonna climb. You know what's funny? When I when I had this, when I did I didn't realize until way later that this was something you could climb up to get back up here. I thought once you were down here, you were down there for good. <laughs> Pretty stupid, what huh? An idiot. It's in here, isn't it? It's in the top. Oh, it's the top. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. It's in here. Oh, this is the, this is the pipe room. What was the pipe room? Oh, okay. There's also some internet theories about this room. If you notice, the uh, starts to get a little mossy. They're like, oh, this is how you would get to the fungus forest. That level that uh, it's got some of the same textures. That level that never made it into the game, but then made it into Donkey Kong 64. There's all kinds of crazy crackpot theories about this game on the internet. It's quite fascinating. People have got lots of ideas. <laughs> People get too many ideas this when room, they drink. I feel like this room doesn't serve a lot of purpose because there's another cauldron. Like that's the cauldron that warps you further, though. Like not the one that's down the hallway. That's a different color. That one's a different color, I think. If I yeah, like the first one was like purple, I think, and then. The one we just did was orange, or vice versa. Yeah. Look, I don't know. Look, I don't, I don't even know. Questions. Even the, even the, even just Grunny's lair is just cool. Oh shit! Where's the fucking picture frame? What am I doing? I gotta go do that first. Whoops. You goofing. Let's go take care of that, shall we? Actually, you know what? As a matter of fact. Oh no, I can't open that yet. Well, yeah, I can. I can open that. While we're in here. Doesn't really matter what order I do this in, but since I'm since I'm up here, I might as well just take care of uh, the swamp's entrance. I forget we can't just go to these places; we gotta open them. Grunty wears a reinforced girdle under that repulsive dress of hers. No way. So tight. <laughs> I hate it. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Ripper. That's a cool name. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. <laughs> They're awful. That's funny. The Cauldron Crew. Who are you? What is that? What? That. That, this is, uh, goes to Bubble Bloop's, uh, picture. Frame. Oh. Which, since I'm, which is what I was saying, since I'm, since I'm down here, I might as well just unlock it. But actually, now that I think about that, that might not leave me enough for uh, for Clanker. So you might have to do some. Well, no, I got I got twenty. That's plenty. I mean, I just keep. Yeah, I hope. 
Otherwise, we'll be kind of screwed, I think. Otherwise, you're going in here. <laughs> yeah. Which I don't want to do right now. That's, 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 that's supposed to be pisses, my level. This level pisses me off. And I don't want to do it yet. Because it's just, all the floor is just pure swamp and death and... It's uh, not a very big level, though. Piranha. It's not too big. It's just kind of divided up weird. It's got, like, sections that have everything in it, but it's not too... It's not too bad. Not too bad. This sort of thing isn't my bag. It's not my bag, baby. <laughs> One book! <laughs> Swedish... Swedish made penis and large pump and me. This sort of thing is my bag. <laughs> baby. <laughs> quoted that in the... In the Mario oh, Party. Where the fuck is the... Oh, it's back here, isn't it? Isn't, uh... I don't know, you're the expert. Yeah, we gotta... Okay, I'm, I'm remembering. We you're the go. fucking band we gotta go back. We gotta go back here. It's, uh, it's right here. This is the whole reason this was here. Was so that once we learn how to shock pad, we can get up here. Yeah, level five. Okay. Your butt will tell you, and you'll know when. <laughs> I get cut off. <laughs> yeah, when she was gonna say something more inappropriate, but the game cut her off. When I smoke your pole. <laughs> like, like what the fuck? Your butt's gonna hurt when I smoke your pole. <laughs> your <laughs> ass. <laughs> your ass will know. Bring your ass on. <laughs> Bring your ass on. Your ass will know once it's. What are we saying? <laughs> your ass is grass. Your ass is grass and I'm gonna smoke it. I'm gonna smoke your ass is grass. <laughs> Alright. Here we go, frame guys. Rate, frame rate drops. Yeah, I've never seen this game's frame rate go above 24. <laughs> or 30. Whatever it's at. Alright, Clanker's Cavern. This is a miserable level, so we're gonna go ahead and get it out of the way. That's why I'm not playing it. Clear it out of the way. We'd be here for ten episodes. <laughs> it's gonna be like the three spirit hours. bomb of Dragon Ball Z. We're gonna be here for that long. And I'll be yelling the whole time, just like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> spirit bomb! Kaioken! <laughs> Kaioken, oh, okay, okay. I remember that. I watch that show. Fuck that interference. Turn my freaking phone off so I want to hear the stupid interference. Oh shit! Is that what it was? Yeah. You didn't hear that, did you? No, you're, you're not even listening. I didn't hear it. No, no, I hear it through the my earbuds. Is it your phone? Yeah, probably. You fell. I did fall. I fall. <laughs> he fell. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Krillin. <laughs> Where was Gandalf? <laughs> Where was Gandalf? He fell. <laughs> he fell. It's one of the health belts. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to see you, Gandalf. Fucking, I like Elijah I Wood, but goddamn, I hate Frodo. I love movie. Lord of the Rings. All those movies. I'm angry. Oh, if that scared you as a child, please comment and say so. I shat myself. Like dude. seriously, Clanker is a scary fucking dude. The fact that he like his eyes are wide open. I was honestly He's terrified. looking at you. I was terrified of him. It's like, like he's totally friendly. <laughs> yeah, he's a stupid, dumb, friendly. But I was garbage disposal. I was but, scared shitless because I got. Yeah, that, that really. Not only that, but this level's like claustrophobic. Like you're right next to him, no matter what. We're gonna get the ugly part out of the way right now, and I hate doing this. I hate this part of this game where I gotta go way the hell down here and possibly die. Which we will probably have to experience later once we go to Rusty Bucket Bay, which is also one of my least favorite levels because it's really easy to die in that engine room. Oh lordy. God, I fucking hate this shit. I hate this shit so much. I gotta stay close to that dude. And grab his air bubbles. <gasps> when I get down to three, I start getting pretty nervous. <laughs> now I just gotta fucking manage to grab the bubbles. We're gonna be down here a while. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. There's a lot. I gotta get these notes too. I fucking hate this shit. But it has to be done. Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> Someone's gotta take the hit I, here. I did volunteer, so. You wanted Clankers. I wanted you? it, yeah. You wanted, but just to, because, you like, wanted to show the people. Once I get this all done, then it's not so scary. But it does very, it does very much frighten me. <gasps> okay, 
<sighs> where's where's, where's the fire? Bubble. Where's the bubble? <sighs> okay, we're good. You're probably breathing in his. Uh, I'm breathing in his CO uh, his CO two. <laughs> Technically, I guess it's better than breathing. If we're it. thinking about the biology, oh fuck me, Jesus! I gotta make better use of the uh, left and right here. See, I can turn sharper if I hold down the yeah. right and left. Doesn't make me go any faster, but that guy halfway. I'll meet you halfway. I think there's one more note I gotta get. Then I'm gonna mad dash it up to the surface and hope I survive. <laughs> Then you gotta break his teeth out. I'm gonna break his teeth, his gold teeth. Clanker. That's terrifying. That is so scary. He's just all metal. It's like the uh Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. And like it, he like I said, he's totally friendly, oh, but goddamn. Like, <gasps> oh, okay. When I was a kid I couldn't take this because I've got a friggin' I have a deep water fear. Uh, I'm afraid of sharks. No, oh, yeah, no, this this definitely. Uh... I have a claust. You know, nobody likes claustrophobia on this level. Is very claustrophobic. Nope. All right, here we go. It's a mad dash. Oh sorry. shit! Am I gonna make it? Yeah. I think I'll make it. I've gotten through where I've made it to where I almost thought I was gonna die and I didn't. But yeah, we're fine. Oh, okay. That part's over. I hate that part. Whew. Clanker is above ground and he is in water, I should say. Shit! You're definitely underground. <laughs> We're totally underground. This is like uh, the underbelly of uh, what's your name's Leia. Okay, I forgot what I do, what I do here now. <laughs> I knew there was something else going on. <laughs> uh, something about this level. <sighs> What's sad is, like, I know I got all this when I was younger, but I didn't yeah. even remember any of this. Yeah, just like, it's like... I might once, have caught it if I was playing. It's once I, like, play it again recently, and then it's like you get a little better idea of what you missed. It's like, seriously, how am I supposed to fucking find that? If you didn't know any better, like, all the shit that I missed as a kid, playing this and not beating it very well or to completion. Close his injury, which doesn't uh, make sense. Like right on his wound here. He's, he's made a, of metal. He's a metal shark, but he's got blood. He's got a... Which means he's got soul. Which means he's a real person. He's a real person. Real he's human a real being. <laughs> he's a real human. A real human being. This is a clanker. His teeth hurt now. He too much garbage. <laughs> Help clanker. <laughs> Just... Gets mouth mouth fed shit every day. He's like, I eat shit your trash. I eat your shit. Fucking gross. You shit submarines. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> you almost didn't. That was that was amazing. I almost did not make that. <gasps> okay. Why are you running oh, around shit. like that? Because I'm reckless. It's less controllable. It is. It's horrible. I need to stop. <laughs> but now I gotta go all the way back up there. That was stupid. Fucked up. I ruined, you ruined my life! <laughs> you ruined my experience with the game! Son of a gun. Uh, let's see here. Alright, so I gotta climb all the way back up on his ass. His metallic ass. But it's okay, we're gonna get through this together. What are you doing? I'm gonna get all this stuff on the uh, on the sides here. I'm gonna get everything. I think I'm gonna get everything on the outside before we go inside Clanker. The invincibility feathers that we use. I actually, you know what? I never really used those in this game at all until I realized how useful they actually were in uh, the fight with Grunty. That's probably why they're there. That's kind of what I love about this game is that it's so simple. It's like, there's not like a billion things to actually get, there's not like a whole lot of items, you know, or anything like that. More like just, you know, simple. Crawl into this mofo's Yay. mouth. I don't want to go into, I don't want to like, do all that quite yet. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Is that making you hungry? It makes me physically ill. <laughs> going inside of his... Willfully crawling into this creature's mouth. When he's consumed a lot of garbage. He looks kind of dumb when you look at him. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> but he's also scary and terrifying. He 
He's terrifying because he's. There's the camera problem. Yeah, he's an unknown. Okay, good. That did not require as much effort as I thought it was gonna take. Uh, the frame rate jumped up a little right there. Didn't have so much map to load. Yeah, see, that's one benefit, especially with the N64, that you get from emulating is, uh... Yeah. Uh, 60 frames. Yeah. You know? Up it's the same It's the same with emulating... Up to 60 frames. It's the same with emulating, you know, like... Like with Medieval. Yeah. You know, I'm pulling 59 the whole time. I don't know why it's 59. Are you? 60. Yeah. What if it you it records the, at 30, though. You played it... Yeah, yeah, like... Standard for that for our little recorder box is 30 frames, which is fine because I can just <laughs> quit running around like an again asshole. too fast. All right, I want to stop being so reckless here. I usually always make that though. I usually never have a problem. <laughs> I've never seen you make it. <laughs> That's because shut the fuck up. Just shut. shut. All right, let's take care of these little snippets. Snippet mutants. We are th oh. We are, we are. Oh, the snippets. The crabs of a nation. <laughs> crabs? He must jerk off with his right claw. With his right crab. And he gets crabs. Yeah, that's why it's so strong. <laughs> it's like that one movie, uh, that Shyamalan movie, uh, what was it? Fucking Lady in the Water. There was that one character that had... I never saw he, that. He, he worked out with one side of his body. Like, he only worked out with one arm, so he had one super muscular arm. <laughs> and I'm sure nobody realized how funny that actually was. <laughs> when you think about it in a guy's context. Jackin'. Jackin'. I can't remember what arm it was either, but... The movie wasn't that great, to be honest. You know... It makes me sad, because I personally... Personally, I think his best movie is Unbreakable. I think, Unbreakable I think it's very underrated. underrated. It's so much better than people give it credit for. So underrated, and most people don't know it's it's basically the most realistic superhero movie. I mean, yeah, it yeah. is. It's basically. It's like, I believe comic book heroes walk the earth. It, oh, it's such a good movie. It's it's a masterpiece. Like the whole scene when uh, Bruce Willis and his son were like, and then he like, you had more weight? No. And it's like you see he like actually got strong. I was like, oh. Yeah. I was like, that was such an amazing scene. Oh, so oh my god. I gotta watch that movie. I haven't seen it. Like, it's on TV. It's, it's, it's what just... Fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> my phone was on vibrate, and it shook the little end table that it was sitting on very violently because it was, like, metal. <laughs> it was like... <gasps> I was like... Oh, and I heard that damn interference again. Shut my fucking phone off. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Phone's going off, people. Gonna... But yeah, Unbreakable is just yeah, criminally underrated and coming. just it's so good and not known enough. No, it's I'll be like when did that, be like that... oh I'm not showing on signs in the Sixth Sense. Was uh, that before? Yeah, more importantly, I think it was his second movie. Second movie was that before Sixth Sense or after? It was well, Sixth Sense was his first. It was like ninety. There's no way that was his first. Yeah, that was his Sixth first. Sixth Sense was his first movie. It was his first big movie. Yeah. Oh my god. How, how do you like, like? Let me look it up. How do you how how? So good. That's crazy. If yeah. that's true. Well, that's why you got. I mean, so I believe it when you deals right off the freaking bed. Yeah, that's why you got all those deals with, uh, not Disney, but their one of their studios. That's I guess that's how he made all his movies. He has some kind of contract anyway. You know what else is really underrated of his is The Village. I really like that movie a lot. It's really good. I thought it was pretty good. It's you know the first time you see it, you're like what. And then the third time you see it, you realize what apparently a good did, fucking movie. Apparently, it he did is. two movies before the success. What did he do before that? Praying with anger, wide awake. Don't know. Um, let's see. The, haven't... the budgets were small. Oh, Eight hundred yeah. thousand and six million. Oh yeah, can't say I've uh, can't say I've seen those or heard of them. Um, and then the Sixth Sense, and then he yes. wrote Stuart Little. Oh and then, yeah. Then Unbreakable, oh. then Signs. Oh, Unbreakable was after Sixth Sense. Yeah, Unbreakable was. Unbreak- Oh, it's just so good. So I, good. I can't even- I'm not even gonna get it. I can't even check your- People don't- People don't know. People don't know me. I- Of course, nobody listens to my opinions on superhero movies, because I also think the Ang Lee Hulk movie is really good. You know, you have- Well, I mean, that's because people- People usually just think that your, like, movies are very jaded, but I don't think that's true. I mean, you know. Jaded isn't the right word. What I meant was, you know, 
It's... What am I saying? Help me out here. <laughs> People don't like it because there's not enough action. In the Hulk? In Ang Lee's Hulk. Oh, Ang Lee's Hulk, yeah. Everyone shit on that movie. I liked it. But it's like, you know... Personally, I with... think all the other Hulk movies suck balls. I haven't seen any other ones. I don't believe Edward Norton as oh. the Hulk. I like... Eric Bana is Bruce Banner for me. And people... What's funny is people say stupid shit like, Eric Bana's too buff. Have you seen the comic? <laughs> like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you not have a... <sighs> like, are, Bruce Banner is not like... He's really not dumb. Peter Parker. He's not super small and lanky. No. Right. And even now, Peter Parker's not even like that. Peter Parker's buff himself. He's kind of fucked up Spider-Man lately. Oh my god, Andrew Garfield is abysmal. <laughs> what are you shit. doing? Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Alright, look. I'm gonna take my time here and get that. You keep saying that. I know, but I keep losing patience right when I get up there. I yeah, no, the, the, the Andrew Garfield... The Amazing Spider-Mans. Spider-Mans are crap. And actually, I, never saw I didn't hate Andrew Garfield that much as I thought I would. Parker. Although, for me, yeah. Toby is always Peter Parker. It's just, that's not I liked movie. those Spider-Man movies. Not, uh, not three, but... Well, yeah, everyone knows three was, was pretty... Doc Ock was awesome. Two Al was Alfred considered Molina the best superhero movie job. back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Like, critically... <laughs> are you fucking... Bad. <sighs> I just... I thought you were supposed to be good at this. Well, I was, until there was another presence in the room. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm by myself, I can do a good job. Sure. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's see. All right, so we'll probably have maybe one more video inside Clankers before we uh, we get out of this shithole garbage garbage bag. You don't even have that much more, do you? Not really. I just have like uh, I got a few more. See, look, I need Kazooie to get up to up to the top here. Just finish. But it. I'm just gonna. I think I can finish it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Come on! Maybe not this rate. Really? Oh man. All right, well, next time you will see me get to the top of that tail, and I swear to you, I will get that jigsaw if it's the last thing I do. I can't not get it. I mean, seriously, this... I'm usually, like, super reckless, and I can get that the first try, but, uh, seeing as how he's just wagging away at his tail here... There we go. That's what I do. I just do it that way. Oh, uh, let's see. How much more do I have left? I still got five jiggies. We got a lot We got a lot left. Yeah, I think we're going to need a... I'm definitely gonna have another, another video. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, definitely stay tuned. Check us out next time. We'll be finished. Uh, hopefully, I will wrap up. Can I was gonna say Kankers Clapper. Kanker. Kanker Sisters. Ed and Eddie. But uh, yeah, next time more Clankers Cavern. We will be. We'll be. We'll be back. This is Blown Cartridge. Keep watching. See you guys next time.